In today's top cryptocurrency news, December 08, 2022, in the first new, total crypto market cap falls to $840 billion, but derivatives data shows traders are neutral. Regulatory pressure continues to limit each upside breakout, but data shows some compelling reasons for an eventual crypto market rally. In the second new, BlockFi employees were discouraged from describing risks in internal communications, report. According to a former employee, an internal team at BlockFi raised concerns about the borrower pool being too concentrated among crypto whales, such as Three Arrows Capital and Alameda. In the third new, Ethereum developers target March 2023 for Shanghai hard fork. Users will be able to withdraw their staked Ether and applicable rewards after the upgrade goes live. In the fourth new, US lawmakers question federal regulators on banks' ties to crypto firms. FTX's collapse shows that crypto may be more integrated into the banking system than regulators are aware, said Senators Elizabeth Warren and Tina Smith. In the fifth new, Wavesbacked stablecoin USDN drops further after regulator warning and exchange delisting. Waves price and its USDN stablecoin lose value after the Digital Asset Exchange Association issues a caution notice and Upbit Exchange delists the token. In the sixth new, major grayscale digital currency funds are trading at 34% to 69% discount to NAV. The firm manages more than $14.7 billion in digital assets through its OTC investment vehicles. In the seventh new, Nomad releases bridge relaunch guide after patching contract vulnerability. The Nomad protocol will allow users to bridge back MAD assets and access a pro rata share of recovered funds. In the eighth new, fintech company ZELF launches anonymous Visa debit card with crypto recharge. The company's latest initiative will allow users to open up a US dollar checking account with only their name, email, and phone number. In the ninth new, Bitcoin takes liquidity near $17,000 as US dollar shows weakness pre-CPI. BTC price action targets $17,000 amid gently increasing volatility, with a week to go until US inflation data. In the 10th new, how do crypto hardware wallet firms make money? All the companies that are involved in producing hardware crypto wallets have multiple revenue streams, either directly or indirectly. In the 11th new, newlyweds lose funds in FTX exchange a day after their wedding. We could not sleep properly for a few days, said Jamie Zulueta, as he told Cointelegraph the story of how he and his wife dealt with losing their funds at FTX. In the 12th new, many Coinly staff point to poor communication, CEO in global layoffs. Uncertainty and a lack of communication were among the complaints of Coinly employees laid off in recent months before the company made an official announcement. In the 13th new, inside South Korea's wild plan to dominate the metaverse. In the 14th new, what are crypto payment gateways and how do they work? Cryptocurrency payment gateways are digital currency payment processes that allow merchants to offer cryptocurrencies as a payment method. In the 15th new, Binance CEO, Coinbase exec feature in Masterclass Crypto Crash Course. Industry experts and one skeptical economist tackle the world of crypto, blockchain and Web3 in a new series from online learning platform Masterclass. In the 16th new, Wemix delisting saga continues at South Korean court. Microsoft-backed video game developer Wemade plans to further continue the legal battle against South Korea's largest crypto exchanges. In the 17th new, cryptocurrency market is most mature in these two countries, new Huobi report reveals. The United States and Vietnam score the best on crypto maturity in 2022, a new report determines. In the 18th new, Japan Sumitomo Mitsui to issue soulbound tokens to explore Web3. Japan's financial giant Sumitomo Mitsui Financial Group is experimenting with soul bond tokens to satisfy new social needs. In the 19th new, the all-in-one approach at the foundation of next-gen crypto investment platforms. Clear Cryptos, an all-in-one crypto platform, combines all the best of DeFi and CEFI with the education necessary to use it right. In the 20th new, more than 90% of consumers are curious about the metaverse, Capgemini. The volatility of the crypto market hasn't stopped the metaverse from gaining potential as a utility for businesses and consumers alike. In the 21st new, NFTs minted on FTX break, highlighting Web2 hosting flaws. NFTs hosted on FTX platform were affected by the firm's collapse, showing blank images instead of the original art. 
in the 22nd New, Hong Kong to subject crypto exchanges to the same laws governing Trad FI. The new legislation will bring a licensing regime for the virtual asset service providers requiring them to pass strict AML and money laundering guidelines. In the 23rd New, stablecoin framework is a near-term priority for Aussie regulators. As stablecoins become widely used as a means of payment, Australia is preparing to regulate them accordingly. In the 24th New, GBTC, Elevator to Hell, sees Bitcoin spot price approach 100% premium. Bad times for the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust get even worse this week as its discount to BTC USD approaches 50% for the first time. In the 25th New, FTX has Bankman Fried to face market manipulation probe, Duquan chimes in. As part of a broader inquiry into FTX's collapse, federal prosecutors are looking at the role that FTX and Alameda may have played in the fall of terror. In the 26th New, Spain's central bank to experiment with wholesale CBDCs. The Bank of Spain said the study can help determine to what extent it can adapt to the needs and demands of an increasingly digital society. In the 27th New, U.S. regulator to seek feedback on DeFi's impact on financial crime. A close look is being taken at money laundering and terror financing laws by Finci Yen as it asked banking sector players for feedback on DeFi's crime risks. In the 28th New, Australian CBDC receives unexpected interest but could hurt banks, RBA. The pilot EAUD program is unique in that the Reserve Bank of Australia has not proposed use cases and has received numerous suggestions from the industry. In the 29th new, Telegram to allow no SIM accounts via a non-blockchain numbers. Telegram has increased its security features by enabling support from anonymous blockchain-based numbers that go for around $16. In the 30th new, crypto lender Genesis has no solution yet for withdrawal halts. Genesis said it will take additional weeks to carve out a recovery path for its lending business. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow there will be more news. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.